our discussion of Mark 12 and 30. We've been talking about this influential verse where it reminds us that we shall serve the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind and all our strength. Jesus was giving this in response to a scribe that asked him in the temple, what is the greatest of these commandments? And this is how Jesus responded. Today, I wanna to take a look at the Greek word for heart and to really bring this home, how we are to love our Heavenly Father, who has been so good to us. Cardia, cardia. That is the Greek word for heart. It means the heart, the mind, character, inner self, the will, intention, and center. The Greek definition of this reminds us that we're to love the Lord our God with all of who we are, our inner being. It's not lip service that we say we love God on Sundays and then uh, we're doing things that are outside of his will. And I'm not talking about making mistakes here or there. We all make mistakes. But when we are sold out and turned towards God, there's a different way that we live. There's a different way that we pursue him. When we enjoy him, when we just want to get up and praise him, want to just get up and enjoy him. And there's some days where we have to will ourselves to, to love in that way. But when we go back to that center, that center of our heart and say, I'm going to turn my heart towards God. I'm going to turn my heart towards him. I'm going to love him with all that I am. And I'm going to serve him wholeheartedly. It's something different that it does to us and the way that, that we live our lives. I think about a servant who, who goes to work every day. They get up early and they're, they're greeting the people and then the shopping center and they're greeting them with joy and they're so excited, they're enamored. There's something different about them. There's something inside that gets them up and that, that gets them going. And when we're believers, that ought to be the love of Jesus Christ and the love of God should have brought in our hearts. There's something different about us, beloved. And as we pursue the Lord, our God, with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength, we're coming from within, our inner self. We're turning ourselves towards him and letting him know that we love you, Father. We love you for all that you are. You're so, so good. Even if he did nothing else than die on the cross, he's still, he's so amazing. And, and yet he does so much more for us each and every day. He gives us breath. We live and move our hand, our being in him, have our being in him. He's an amazing God. I pray that you know the love of God today and that you love him with all that you are. He is an amazing God. God bless you.